fascinating new study just out on the effects of caffeine on brain structure. What did they do? They brought a group of healthy participants into the sleep laboratory for five nights. And for those five nights, they were limited to just five hours of sleep. And then at the end of the study, they put them inside an MRI scanner and they took high resolution images of their brains. But here's the thing, half of those participants were dosed with caffeine every single day, 300 milligrams. The other group, that was the control group, the decaf group. What did they find? There were three interesting results. First, in the decaffeinated group, the frontal lobe and at the back of the brain, the occipital regions where we process vision, those areas showed increases in gray matter volume. And we believe this is an adaptive response. It's the brain trying to push back against the damage of a lack of sleep. But in the caffeinated group, their gray matter volume decreased in those two regions. What was also fascinating is that another region showed an effect of the caffeine, a deep brain structure that we call the thalamus. The thalamus is it's almost like the air traffic controller of your brain, and it processes and regulates all of the sensory conscious information. That part of the brain showed the most significant deterioration in gray matter as a consequence of the caffeine. What was finally interesting is what happened during recovery sleep. Both groups showed restoration of those brain changes in the frontal lobe and in the back of the brain. But in the caffeinated group, that deep brain structure, the thalamus, did not recover after one night of sleep. So what does this tell us then? I don't think we need to be alarmist. I think if the scientists had continued to give those people in the caffeine group more and more recovery nights of sleep, that deep brain structure would have gone back to a restored state, but we don't know that. What I think really here is the message is that we need to be a bit more thoughtful and prudent about our use of caffeine when we are undergoing sleep deprivation. We may want to think twice about dosing too high with that caffeine because caffeine may be blocking the warning site, the distress signal in the brain. And furthermore, it prevents the repair crews from coming in and restoring the brain when you finally do get sufficient sleep.